Well, it, to be recognized as, as the producer of the year is a big honor for me. I didn't know that there was actually an award that was a producer of the year award, so it was a surprise. Uh, but you know, to get recognized for the amount of work that I do put into the show, um, it did, it means a lot to me, and uh, I really love doing um, shows here at CTN, and I love working with the people here because they've always been really good to me. First of all, I, I love the fact that you can get trained on all this equipment for free as long as you live in the community. Uh, so that is a valuable asset to have for any community. And uh, I, what I like about doing the shows at CTN is A, it goes out live. So there really is um, a lot of pre-production involved, but once you're on, you're on, and it just goes out. So without a filter, I can just spew forth my wisdom and knowledge to the community with a slight hint of comedy in every episode. So that's what I enjoy about producing TV shows at CTM. One of the many things, of course. Making films and making television is a passion of mine. And what motivates me is that I'm a complete narcissist and I really enjoy having my own format to say what I want to say, do what I want to do, without a filter, live, to your ears, blasting the truth at you. My one experience, I guess, that really jumps out at me was the first live show I produced, which was pretty much a year ago um, to this day. That was, because um, I, had, had, I had to produce four shows that weren't that were pre-produced. So the first time we went live was the first time we used the green screen. Was the first phone call we got, and uh, yeah, it was just the energy was a lot different to know that what we were doing was completely live and going out there. And I had these green balloons that heat out because we weren't using the chroma key paint. So like you have to very have a very specific color for the chroma key paint. So the green balloon heat out perfectly and I had a picture behind me of a centaur and I was moving the balloon around and I put it in front of Nicole's stomach or her womb and it looked like she had a baby centaur inside of her so I said oh no and I let the balloon go and uh you know so uh, yeah you know maybe that wasn't the best example um <laughs> But I guess when Nicole came back too, there was another thing too, when she uh, came back from New York and you know, because we had worked so many times together and it was a really nice feeling to have her come back and you know, pick up where we left off. And, and it, was, uh, it was quite lovely, so yeah. I look forward to all of you watching The Dan Buffano Show, Tuesday nights at eight o'clock to 8.30. Be there.